courage, uh, caring for the team, selflessness, uh, and consistency, and Matt was all of those. Matt Campillo and Harry Howarth met 44 years ago as high school rivals. And I was on offense and Matt was on defense. I didn't know him at the time. But my sophomore year, when I first met him, or kind of ran into him, I should say, uh, I had just come from the best game of my life. And then we played Glenbard West, where Matt went to high school. The last thing I remember, about the only thing I remember, is laying on my back, holding the football, looking up at these two or three ugly looking guys at the time. And one was very mouthy. And uh, he would say something like, I'm gonna clean it up a little bit. Uh, you're not so good now, are you, Hotshot? Three years later, they reunited as teammates at North Central College. You learn to count on each other. You learn to rely on each other, and you don't want to let the other person down. And Matt didn't let his team down. The defensive line his junior year limited opponents to only 9.9 .9 points per game, a record that stood for more than 30 years. He was strong, he was tough, uh, never gives up. His skill and determination showed from the beginning. He started all four years and was a three-year first-team All-CCIW selection at defensive tackle. He is the first and only defensive lineman in the college's history to be so honored. And Matt was an anchor to his teammates on and off the field. We've become family even though we don't see each other every week. We're the type that, you know, if I needed something, I'll call Matt. In 1998, Matt was voted to North Central's All-Century team, and his teammate couldn't be prouder of all his accomplishments. I just thought there's no one probably better deserving. I mean, we have a lot of good teammates and a lot of talented athletes, but Matt was definitely deserving, and he has all those other qualities to him. I think really uh, kind of enforces the fact that he did deserve this.